In this video, we'll be learning how to label triangles correctly. This is going to be quite important uh, in this chapter on further trigonometry because quite a few of the formula that we'll need to know will rely quite strongly on proper notation. Now, the first thing that we need to know is that if we're given a triangle, any triangle that is, it needn't be a right angle triangle, we start by labeling its vertices which, remember, are nothing more than the sort of corners on each of... Oh, nothing more than each of these three corners. And we label it anti-clockwise. Now, remember, anti-clockwise or counterclockwise is exactly the opposite of what you would see on a watch. So, in other words, we're going to label it rotating in that direction. So, let's do that with this triangle here. I start by labeling this vertex A this one B, and this one C. Now, another important thing that we're going to be using quite a lot here is the fact that if I say the angle at A, we mean this interior angle here. In other words, that angle will actually just refer to as capital A. In the same way, this interior angle at B will just be referred to as the angle capital B. And last but not least, the interior angle at the vertex capital C will be called the angle capital C. Now that we know that, the next thing we have to learn how to do is to label the side lengths of this triangle. So again, let's just draw this generic triangle again. And again, I label it A. B, and C. Notice that all the labeling at the vertices is done in capital letters. Now to label the side lengths correctly, we do as follows. I'll show you for A. If I look at the angle capital A, so this one here, the side length which is opposite that angle is this side length here. And so we label that side length lowercase a, which I'm doing here. That's lowercase a. In exactly the same way, if I look at this vertex b and the interior angle here at b, the side length which is opposite that is this one here. And so I label that side length lowercase b. Last but not least, if I look at this vertex capital C, the interior angle at capital C is this one here, and the side length opposite that would be this side length here. So doing just as we did for the two previous sides, we're going to label that side length lowercase c, which I've done there. And there you go. It's worth practicing that a few times. Remember, I'll just draw a full one again, going a little faster. To label any generic triangle, we start by labeling the vertices in capital letters, so I'll say capital A, capital B, capital C. Following that, we label each of the opposite side lengths with the same letter, but in lowercase. So, the angle opposite the angle A would be side length A. The angle, or rather, the side length opposite angle B would be lowercase b. And finally, the side length opposite angle C would be the side length C. And there you have it. Worth practicing a few times, as I said, just to make sure that you know how to label a triangle. And there we go.